Mr. Pierre, this was anticipated, and that is why the law was made that once the Bank of Ghana wanted to give beyond the 5% as is mandated by law, it needed to go to Parliament. And that's what the minority ranking member, then ranking member on finance in 2022, Kisela Forsin, said that the bank had printed an amount of 22 billion cities to finance government's budget without parliamentary approval. And your explanation is what? I don't recall that they need parliamentary approval. Mm. Remember, mm. we suspended the Fiscal Responsibility Act. When the Fiscal Responsibility Act was removed, it was saying, in effect, we cannot obey the regulation that we have governing the fiscal. All right. Okay. So we are suspending it. When the Minister for Finance went to Parliament and they agreed to suspend the Fiscal Responsibility Act, Parliament should have asked, what happens to the equivalent? That is the Monetary Policy One, which is, I think, Article 36 of the amendment, amended Bank of Ghana Act, which says that if there is an emergency and Bank of Ghana needs to be able to suspend the rules surrounding monetary policy, what they do is to inform the Minister for Finance. It's the Minister for Finance's responsibility to report to Parliament we didn't make Bank of Ghana responsible to go to Parliament. So when the Minister of Finance went to Parliament to suspend the Fiscal Responsibility Act, somebody from the opposition or from the government should have asked, what happens to Article 36 of the Banking Act? And the Minister should have said, concurrently, that part is also uh, suspended. Because you cannot suspend the Fiscal Responsibility Act and leave the complementary Monetary dimensions side. on the monetary policy side. Because the fiscal part affects the channels of the monetary uh, policy. And this should have been clear. But some yeah. of us heard from the grapevine that he had threatened to resign. What I heard is that he was unhappy. Why was he unhappy? He was unhappy because the severity of the economic crisis was not being communicated neither to parliament, neither to us neither to the print and electronic media, and nobody was asking uh, uh, serious uh, questions. What is going wrong? Why didn't you just resign? Resignation doesn't solve any problem. If the governor resigns now, what happens? The same minister for finance, who, who is at the, at the core of the economic crisis, recommends who? To the president, the same president, they appoint somebody who doesn't know the terrain, who hasn't gone through this experience uh, to be able to uh, solve the problem. No. What I'm saying is that, was it through incompetence? No. Not incompetence. Was it through fraud? Did the governor benefit? Did any of his companies benefit from what he did?